For now, the moon is remote and uninhabited, but that might soon change. Scientists are dreaming of a manned lunar station. It could serve as a base for missions into more distant reaches of outer space. The basic concept is being tested in laboratories on Earth. This is a sample of moon rock. Planetary geologist Ralph Yaumann can read it like a book. He's analysing it to find out more about the moon's soil. In principle, everything needed for a lunar station is right there on the moon. But it's not easy to produce it. In the first phase, which could last some time, we would need to bring resources from the Earth to the moon until we've built a station that can support itself. The initial geological investigations of the moon's surface will be carried out by robots, such as this spider-like vehicle known as Space Climber. The Space Climber was built by scientists in Bremen. One day robots like this one could crawl into lunar craters and gather soil samples. This has 25 engines compared to six for a wheel-driven vehicle. That means four times as many ways that things can go wrong. It's a trade-off. Greater mobility, but a greater chance of something breaking down. We're testing how safe we can make these systems. In their virtual lunar landscape, the researchers are optimizing the robots. Here they're studying how long the legs should be and where to connect them to the body so the space climber can overcome obstacles without tipping over. Robots can survive without water, but a manned station on the moon can't do without it. The moon has everything needed to make water. Hydrogen from the solar wind is taken up by the soil. It has minerals that contain oxygen. Put hydrogen and oxygen together and that makes water. This grey powder comes from a volcanic crater in Arizona. Scientists in Munich are using it for their experiments. Its chemical composition and grain size is similar to those of the lunar dust brought back to Earth by the Apollo 14 mission. The researchers are hoping to extract elements bound in the dust, like hydrogen, oxygen or nitrogen. There are also metals there. A demonstration shows how this might work. Hydrogen and oxygen are released when the rock is heated. In principle, that could make water, but it would be a laborious process to generate the precious resource on the moon. If I want a litre of water, I need to heat about a tonne of finely sieved material. That would give me about a kilo of water. This is how water mining on the moon might look. Special harvester vehicles collect the lunar dust. It's sifted and put into reactors. Then the dust is heated to release hydrogen and oxygen and other elements. The gases can be processed to yield water and fuels, which are then loaded onto transporters to supply the station. The moon is a lot like an unexplored continent. I'm pretty sure that in not 10, maybe not even 20, but in 50 years, we'll have reached the point where we'll have research stations on the moon. Who knows? Just a century ago, our own South Pole seemed impossibly remote. Maybe the moon will be the next great prize for human exploration.